Hello everyone, it's Great Gizmodo. I'm finally back after about three months. So um, I decided to start off um, my hopefully new wave of videos um, by building something in Minecraft. And today I've been building a little tram here. Whoops, here, here is the tram. And uh, I find that trams just add a character to a city. I mean, uh, in a way that modern buses don't really tend to. So uh, I'm it's it's nice that we still have trams you know, around uh, around Europe and even in Australia and the US and several other countries because I just feel that they add so much to a city um, and they're also very efficient eco-friendly vehicles. So I've built um, a tram here which is based off um, the Tatra tra a tram built by Tatra which um, I will leave. Uh, link to in the description. I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia page and some photos so you can see the tram I based it on. And um, this tram, the Tatra, is currently being used uh, in cities such as Budapest and, um, if I'm not mistaken, Prague. So uh, it's been in service for quite a number of years now. They're just classic, simple looking trams, which I thought uh, would make quite a nice uh, build in Minecraft. So as you can see, in survival mode, it's pretty easy to construct this tram. Um, except for, well, I guess the iron door, yeah, that's relatively simple. Anyway, so uh, let's get straight into the video, guys. Into the tutorial. Um, so what you need to do is start by placing two iron blocks here and here. You know, also, let me just turn this to uh, daytime. There we are. So um, you have two iron blocks separated by four blocks in between, and then fill in these gaps with stone slabs and then place one stone slab there and one stone slab there and then basically go around the iron blocks and this roof stone slabs like so and this forms the base of our tram here so nice and simple really and um, then grab my favorite type of block clay as I'm sure you uh, know if anybody's been watching my videos you'll know that I really love clay so here we have some clay, any variety will do. I mean, it depends if, for example, your city in Minecraft has a kind of, I don't know, flag or whatever, then you might want to make it that color, but it's really personal choice. Whatever color you think uh, would suit your city and uh, make it look the best. So I'm just choosing some cyan hardened clay here. And then I'm going to grab some glass blocks and place them there. This will form the cab where we'll have the driver sit and then fill in these blocks here two on either side with more glass and then at the back we'll just place two more clay blocks here and one glass block there and now for the roof what we're going to do is use some quartz slabs iron slabs don't look bad at all they look quite nice but I just thought to give it a bit more of a classy appearance I'd use some quartz slab so just fill the roof up like so oops and then i'm just going to leave these little bits here for now this is where we're going to have the electric cable connect up to the line over here obviously um i've just given you a section of it here um but that that's the uh, that's the um, model I used for the electric cable in um, in my city and it's it's simple but it doesn't work too bad it looks it looks quite okay so that's um that's the system I used so let's just connect our tram to the overhead cables here it's always really fiddly using iron bars but for this they're practically the only um, good materials really be um, good material because if you were to use iron blocks it would just look way too way too massive and chunky and heavy so there we are and if you can hear any bells you know that those are church bells I live in the center of the village so sorry about that guys anyway um so there we are we've got a little section of the oops electric cable there and if you want to just add some details on the electric cable, you could just grab some buttons and place them on either side, just to make it look like a fuse box. No, not a fuse box, a kind of whatever it is. 
not sure what you call that. Anyway, so um, then we've got the basic tram design working, and now we're going to place two iron doors for people to enter the tram through. And then we are going to proceed um, by adding some buttons so people can get on the tram, um, can open the doors rather. So one button on either side to operate these two doors to open them. And um, then just grab a sign and place um, and place it up here on top of the uh, on the roof here, practically. And and um, I suggest that we use this sign for us to display um, the destination. So I'll just call it Castle Road, for example. So just place the destination up there. And then in the middle here, just grab another sign, and um, we're going to write in the tram number. So, for example, 002 there. You could always put the logo of the company that made the tram. It's either it's one of those two, really. I I, I recommend um, placing there. I mean, whatever you think's best. If you wanted to have the logo of the company, maybe just add an item frame or and then maybe a gold block or whatever you think would look best for the logo of your preferred company, really. Anyway, um, then just place two item frames here. These are the headlights. So I've got those there. And at the back, place two more. And I, I'm going to use a redstone blocks for the rear lights, for the brake lights rather. Um, you can use uh, even just red wool if you want, red wool or red clay, whatever one you think looks best. I, I tend to prefer um, definitely in this texture pack uh, redstone blocks because oops, because of the, uh, the sort of detailed texture there, it looks like a light almost. Um, and then just grab two signs and place them like so to add a bit of texture and interesting stuff there. <clears throat> and uh, we're nearly done. All we have to do is just grab um, some signs here and put, place them here and write, for example, whatever you want the name of the network to be. So I'm just going to write Mycroft Tran Net Network or the company, whatever really. You could have the company name and become the tree, uh, the tram manufacturer's um, logo there, whatever you want to put. I just put Mycroft Tram Network and then. Uh, let me see, I should have done this earlier, but just fill in these gaps here with stone slabs, like so. And there we are, guys. We've got our very simple tram here. Oh, whoops, a minute before I finish the video, I'm sorry, guys, I completely forgot about this. We have to do the interior. That was, that needs to be taken out. That was a bit bad. Anyway, so here, guys, I'm going to just do the interior. I'm going to place some carpets at the back here where the passengers are going to sit, just to cover up the iron blocks, whoops, and uh, so on. So let's run that. So just place some carpet there, um, that's what I was just doing. And then in here, as you can see, since this tram is only three blocks wide, um, there isn't really any space to have two buttons exactly opposite each other to make it look sort of uh, neat and uh, and proper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a weighted pressure plate under here so then these doors just open automatically like that. Now there is a bit of a drawback to that which you'll see in a moment which is uh, here if I've added the door to the driver's uh, area, driver's cabin basically, then if you open the doors, if the passengers open the doors to go out then you know they'll there. One minute, guys, sorry. Oops. Then, obviously, the door to the driver's area will open as well. But, you know, that's just a minor thing, really. I mean, it's 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 literally just for a bit of detail, this tram. It's, uh, so it's not really meant to be a proper functioning one um, or anything. So, um, what I'm going to grab now is a tripwire hook. Just gonna place that there. You could use a lever if you want to. It doesn't. Oops. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Whatever you one you think is better. Just because the lever sort of then causes another problem with the door. I'm just gonna use a tripwire hook. So grab a tripwire hook. 
grab some item frames and place them like so and then grab some dispensers, droppers, iron blocks, whatever you want really and just uh, place them in there to make it look like they're buttons or something along, the, on, along those lines so here I have a little uh, driver's area it's a bit crowded but you know it's only a small tram so the driver will have to make do really whoops and uh, here we are then guys this is my very very simple little tram here now um, if you are going to have passengers go up to this since it is um, getting this rather it is um, elevated up one block so uh, or half block how you put it um, so that means you might need to have a sort of platform like so but it's really up to you I mean whilst it's going down the street there's really no need to have an elevated thing just unless there's a station so um there we are guys thank you very much for watching this video I hope you um I hope you like my tram um, let me know in the comments below what you think of it and if you enjoyed this video then um, feel free to uh, like comment subscribe and uh, and let, let me know what you'd like to see in the future I'm very keen on doing some more of these um, Minecraft tutorial videos so uh, do let me know guys anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye bye